okay so now let's go ahead and make our whole main menu workable okay for that in the ui folder go ahead and create a c sharp script by the name of main menu then click on canvas and drag and drop this main menu script now let's open this up and right here at the top make sure that you add these two lines using unity engine ui and using unity engine dot scene management then let's remove the start and update method and at the top make a reference to our main menu then to our select character and stage menu then to our options menu and after the options menu we have the controls menu and now when the game starts our main menu will be active so set it active to true and all of our other menus will be false so we can type dot set active false okay let's make each of the menu false the options menu will be dot set active false and the controls menu will be dot set active false okay now on the options menu our first button is the play button so whenever we click that button then what we want to do for that we will create a method by the name of on play button clicked what we're gonna do when we click that button is we're gonna set the main menu to false so main menu dot set active false and we will activate the select character and stage menu so set active will be true for this okay after that we have the options button so when we click on it then what we want to do for that create a button option button clicked and when it is clicked then what we want to do we want to deactivate the main menu so main menu dot set active will be false and we want to activate the options menu so options menu will be set active to true all right then when we press the controls button in that case what we're gonna do we will create a method first of all by the name of control button clicked actually controls button clicked and in here deactivate the options menu and activate the controls menu okay then after this when the exact button is clicked what we're gonna do so we will say exact button clicked we will say application dot quit that is it okay then when we click the back button what we're gonna do then so back button clicked in this case we're gonna do the same as we did right here in the start menu we will activate the main menu and disable all of the other menus after that at the end when we click the select character button in that case what we're gonna do so if the select character button is clicked what we're gonna do right here pass a string then scene name okay actually we can name this as select character and or just type and like this and stage 
but when we are selecting any stage we will be setting the game time to one back again so for that we have to create a separate method okay so I'm just gonna copy this paste it and instead of character I will say stage okay and when we are selecting the character then we will open up another scene so we'll say scene manager dot load scene and let's pass the scene name string to it okay we will type the scene name right here in the string but that is for later for now just type what I am typing right here and write down below as well but at the top you will have to type time dot time scale equals to one that is all for our main menu okay so now click on canvas here you will have to provide all of the menus so the main menu select character and stage then options and then the controls now we need to set these buttons as well so open up main menu button or play and when this play button is clicked what we're gonna do click our own click event drag and drop the canvas in there and from the main menu select the method play button clicked okay then options we will do the same drag and drop canvas and then select option button clicked and on exit drag and drop canvas again and select the exit button clicked method okay then in the options menu when the control button is clicked what we're gonna do we will drag and drop the canvas and select controls button clicked and then we have the back button so drag and drop the canvas again and from the main menu select the back button clicked method okay now get inside the controls menu when the back button is clicked drag and drop the canvas select the back button clicked now for the select character stage when the select character button is clicked so drag and drop the canvas and from the main menu select the select character clicked okay and now right here we will pass this stage uh, the scene name for now we don't have any scene so we will leave this as it is and now drag and drop the canvas for the select stage button and from here select stage clicked okay and right here we need to provide the scene name so now click on scenes and in here create a new scene let's name this scene as select character then create another scene and this time name this as select stage okay then click on select character button and right here type the same name which is select character then select stage button right here we need to type the same name of the scene which is select stage okay make sure that you type this same exact name of these scenes all right that is all we have to do for our main menu so now if we disable the main menu as well and let's start the game you will notice that when the game starts the main menu automatically appears now if you click on options as you can see we now have the controls so if you click on controls here is the controls if you click on back we are back on the main menu okay if you click on exact as I told you this exact will only works when we build this game and then run it as an application but for now we are in unity editor so this exact will not work okay now if you click on play as you can see it shows select character and select stage if we select character if you click on it as you can see it shows this error because we didn't add the scene to the build settings right here so make sure that you are the select character and select stage right there okay and let's move them up like that okay and now that buttons will work perfectly fine as well if we test it out 
pressing on play select character it will open up the select character scene okay so now as you know that our whole main menu works perfectly fine okay if we click on scene then open up map one let's start the game here if we pause the game click on main menu we are redirected to the main menu as you can see okay and then from here we can play it again but for now we don't have the select character and select stage option so in the next video what we're gonna do we will add an option to select different characters and then after that in the upcoming videos we will add an option to select different stages and also we will set up our stages as well but the next step is to add different characters okay so in the next video we will do that so see you guys in the next one